Okay, so now we're going to open the HP Pavilion DV9000. Uh, there are two hard drive bays. So if um, the machine is uh, using two hard drives, you have to remove both hard drives. This one is uh, free, so this one must have the hard drives. Okay, just pull this out. Hard drive. Okay, remove the optical drive. Okay, remove all the screws. Um, if you wanted to know how to how I organize the screws, you can go to my website, uh, laptoprepairguide.us, and give a good tip, repair tip. We go to the section where it says repair tips. I elaborate how I. Oh, I do this thing here. So I really organize all the screws and I never miss any screw. So when I put back the machine together, the screws, the original placement of the screws are always uh, uh, in its original position. That's what I'm saying. So you can do that too. This is the trick I've been using ever since and it works wonders for me. So what happens is that uh, I put all the screws in one in an adhesive tape here. So even if I, it takes days, weeks and months for me to reassemble everything when I get all the parts, I never miss any screw. I think this is the this is the part where most of the technicians miss because what they do is uh, they get all the screws and put it in one container which is the worst and the uh, easiest way to do it because some screws have different threads and uh, sizes as well as length So if you just follow what what I do, I don't I don't think it's a big uh, deal to to fix laptop for that matter. This is the the very basic thing that you can do before fixing any laptops or mobile phones or whatever. The first thing to do is to be really really organized. Well, let me let me shortcut this. Uh, it will take so much time for me to to just uh, film this. Okay. Okay. So let me continue. I also have to remove the screws where the memories are seated. The memory here. Also remove this part here. This is for the uh, antenna wire. Uh, it's using so a smaller screw, so I have to get my other position screwdriver. If you see, I map all the screws so that it's easier for me to, to reassemble it. All the, all the screws here uh, resembles all the positions of the screws on the, on the back panel, on the, on, the, on the bottom chassis. There's another screw here. Okay, there's another one here. And there's another one here. And this is for the keyboard. Okay. Now, 
we flip it and then I uh, will take out the front. This one get takes off. We have to take this out. To do that. I'm using my rounded edge uh, flat spatula. This is a bento spatula I'm using right now. This is so handy for me. And uh, don't don't pull it all the way because there's still a flat ribbon connector here. This connects to the system board. So you move the keyboard. Okay, the the front section I. I organize it uh, on a, a different uh, uh, tape here. So again, uh, this one you can see it from my website, laptoprepairguide.us. Go to where it says repair tips. You will find that very, very basic, but very, very convenient. Uh, tip that I put up for anyone who wanted to fix any laptop or hold on. next to remove the motherboard there's a lock here you have to release it just push this lock up and then take out the the connector. So next is we have to take out the LCD screen. Push, take this out. Also, the connectors here. Take it out as well. This is for the camera. Yeah. And, uh, okay, get this out. This is the wire. Antenna wire. 